All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Chicago Bulls, my NBA. If you missed last episode, we made it all the way to game seven of the second round, but fell up short by two points. A missed Kawhi Leonard game winner. He had an awful game. But this team has a very, very promising future. We have the vet, Kawhi Leonard. He has a huge contract, but we're hoping having that veteran presence, even though he will regress, um, he will help this team. Alonzo Ball is only 27. Echo Okongwu had his best season, or yeah, had his best season. Um, he's only 24. Patrick Williams is only 23. And then Lewis Ward, our rookie, going into his second season, is only 19. So this team will be back next season, and I could definitely see us uh, making the conference finals. Patrick Williams' future is in question. I kind of want a more of a bigger power forward. Um, I see him more as a small forward. He is 6'7", but, I mean, his contract isn't bad. So, there's a chance we do keep him around and use him as a backup. But, in free agency, my main concern or my main target is going to be power forward. We could see Desumu, uh getting moved. Uh, you got Dalen Terry, who's only 22. So, the Mavericks end up winning the championship. We're going to advance player retirements. LeBron James, he ain't retiring yet, buddy. Uh, Iggy, Mike Conley... Yeah, all you guys aren't retiring. Nope, 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 nope. If you're a high overall, you ain't going nowhere. That seems about it. Staff retirements, Hall of Fame. Obviously, no one because I overrid everyone. League meetings, I don't see anything. Draft lottery, I don't think we have any picks. We do not. The Knicks are going to get number one. The Thunder are going to get number two. And the Rockets get number three. Um, I think, do the Magic have our picks or no? I don't know where we stand. Uh, we have the 28th pick via Portland, and the Spurs have our pick. Okay, so we got the 28th pick. It's not terrible. Um, Ime Odoka, we're going to keep around as our head coach. Uh, the staff, I like. NBA draft. Um, unless there is someone here in the draft that I like, maybe. A, I mean, this guy is the another back-to-back -back, uh, years. We have a Mike 6'10". But hey, this guy might be better than Lewis Ward. I'm obviously not going to go trade up for him. But back-to-back -back years, we get a Michael Jordan comparison. That's insane. Stanley Mitchell consensus. Consensus. Number one pick in this draft. Uh, but I'm not really seeing many, like, power forwards at all. So there's a chance we can get one with the 28th pick. I might trade up. Um, but we'll see with the number one overall pick the Knicks are going to select Stanley Mitchell with the first overall pick 610 shooting guard out of California Him and Lewis Ward could be going back and forth two big market teams with two star players in the making The Thunder are going to take Maxwell Burks with the second overall pick uh, The Rockets are going to take Stacy McLeod with the third overall pick. I'm curious on what it's only a 79. Okay. I think that's about what Lewis Ward was um, in the draft when I drafted him. So, draft board, not draft board. Uh, mock draft. Let's see what we're projected here. Uh, 2K projects us to draft Kyle Love. Small forward. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can package uh, Dusumu and Christian Wood. In this first um this first round pick see what we can get we're gonna see if this is gonna go to we're gonna try and package Io Dasumu in the 28th overall pick over to Brooklyn for the 12th overall pick they need a point guard pretty bad the Sumo's listed as a shooting guard I forgot I switched his position but I will move him back over to point guard if necessary and I figured the Nets would take that trade so we moved up to number 12 um who I'm gonna pick I don't know but I mean, it's not a really deep draft. Draft. It's not a really deep draft, but I'm seeing a whole lot of shooting guards, which worries me. Um, yeah, that worries me a lot. Because, I mean, they ain't much here. So, that I might try and package this 12th pick with maybe Patrick Williams and Dalen Terry. Oh, Dalen Terry's expiring contract, so we can't even trade him. All right. 12th pick and Patrick Williams. Let's see what that can get us. Not much. Miles Bridges, Mitchell Robinson, or Austin Reeves, or Yaka Pirtle. Hmm. Huh. No wonder why that pick wasn't very valuable, because there's not much here. I won't lie. 
there is like next to nothing here draft wise i mean i don't want to go and draft another guard but we did just trade to sumu i mean he is a six seven i don't know how he's already up all these guys are upset 21 years old six seven um he's not a great defender i think i'm going to pick up ed edwards um oj manis he's 23 years old he doesn't look terrible but 20 year old 6 8 power forward um out of saint mary's uh he has he's a looks like he's a solid defender solid mid-range shot and the thing that piqued my interest is has the potential to be the next big superstar whether that's true or not i don't know he is out of high school he looks like he has a decent three-point shot his post defense is good rebounding is okay so i think we're gonna draft him with the 12th overall pick ed edwards welcome to the chicago bulls and he is a 70 overall with no badges that's tough that's a, that's a tough pick with the 12th overall pick i mean who could we have gotten instead uh chad o'neill he had no badges but he's a pure defender it looks like um gerard anderson a lot of the shooting guards are pretty solid but like no badges for a lot of them this guy he's a point guard though so we didn't really need it yeah not a great uh there was also nate harvey i didn't i guess i didn't see 76 overall so not a great pick but i think we can throw him down into the g league and uh, see what he can do we're gonna bring back um dale and terry then let's see any i mean lebron's here obviously that's not very realistic so power forward wise i see trey murphy here who can play the power forward and he's fantastic defender fantastic shooter he's six eight so i might i might offer he's restricted he doesn't want a lot of money so i would definitely be willing to offer him a three plus one 12 million dollars to bring in trey murphy another defender on the team would fit perfectly he can um, hit the three-point shot uh let's see if they match it so far they do not can we bring in trey murphy welcome to the chicago bulls uh not bad not bad that makes williams more expendable i don't think we're going to trade him uh like i said i like him as a backup uh small forward his overall actually goes up uh trey murphy goes down at power forward i am gonna go look at offers though for um patrick williams i mean i mentioned this in last episode this team is kind of might be going towards full rebuild it's a lot of money but if we're able to bring ad over to chicago i don't think we have the assets i mean this package the money works but i feel like i'm giving up so much here i mean if this were to go through which i don't think it will we'd have lonzo lewis ward Kawhi, probably trey murphy and ad it isn't bad it's just the bench is going to suffer a lot obviously i don't think this goes through yeah see yeah there's not we can't really give up we can't give up that much for ad it's not worth it all right we're gonna sign terry forbes who was in he wasn't undrafted he was a second round pick but he wasn't signed uh he's a fantastic defender not a great scorer he ain't gonna get you buckets but i mean this man is going to defend his ass off 87 perimeter defense 76 steal i mean his his defense was too good to pass up on so and he's got five badges so it, it seemed just stupid not to bring him back I mean, not to bring him back, to uh, not bring him in. Then we're going to bring in Oche Agbaji to uh, be that backup shooting guard. So we're going to go through, fix our um, positions. So we're going to make Oche a shooting guard. He goes down to a 76. I was really hoping he didn't go down a lot. Um, I'm going to keep him there. But I was really hoping he didn't go down a lot. Um, small forward. I prefer to have Trey Murphy maybe over Patrick Williams just for the efficiency and the height. Actually, P. Will was pretty damn efficient last season, so maybe we'll keep P. Will at the power forward and we'll just keep Trey Murphy as the backup small forward. But I feel like unless we're going to give Dylan Terry some serious minutes um, next season that we should probably look into a backup power forward. But other than that, our rotation looks pretty solid. Right now, it's looking like Lonzo, Kobe White, uh, Lewis Ward, Oche Akbaji, uh, Kawhi, Trey Murphy, P. Willie, 
and Dale and Terry, and then a Congo and Christian Wood. I'm fine with that. I am uh, very okay with that. Let's see where all these major free agents sign. LeBron is still here for some reason. Please do not go to the Thunder. Um, sign. JT goes back. D. Mitch goes to the Clippers. Interesting. Um, Jimmy Butler goes back. Moby goes back. It looks like everyone is going back besides Brunson, who's going to the Raptors. Uh, that's very, very interesting. Other than that, we'll see. Let's see where uh, LeBron ends up going because, I mean, it doesn't look like anyone's trying to sign him. He's insulted where I offer, but everyone else he's perfectly fine with. LeBron James, I can't even look at your offers, bud. Oh my God, it's looking like he might go to the Thunder. Even Jalen Green. Is, okay, both of them ain't going to the Thunder. Let's see. Free agency. Jalen Green goes to the Pistons on a one year deal. And LeBron James goes to the Rockets on a one year deal. Very, very interesting end to free agency. The Thunder decided to bring back Josh Giddy instead. So the Rockets are going to be uh, pretty good. Kawhi goes down one overall. No, oh, oops. He goes down one overall. Not terrible, actually. I thought he'd go down a lot more. Everyone else gets better to lose. Ward jumps up six. Congo jumps up three. Um, no one else goes down. So that actually helps a lot. I feel like this team is going to be dangerous. All right, here's what the rotation looks like going into our third season. Lonzo Ball, um, Lewis Ward. I didn't want to give Kawhi a lot of minutes uh, during the regular season because uh, injuries are on and he's older. So I don't want him to be, you know, sluggish most of the season. So he'll be getting around 27 minutes. Uh, if we start losing games, I'll probably up his minutes. But Lewis Ward will be getting the bulk of the minutes in his second year 36 patrick williams getting 27 congo getting the second most at 32 kobe white's gonna continue that six-man role hopefully he thrives in it um trey murphy is going to be that seven man off the bench Ogbaji, christian wood and dalen terry our mints are pretty um spread evenly so that's really good and then g league wise i'm probably gonna send um actually i'm probably not even gonna send forbes i'm definitely gonna send ed edwards but I kind of want Forbes to be mentored this season. So I'm going to have Terry Forbes mentored by Lonzo Ball. And then can I have Ed? Yeah, I can, I can have Ed be mentored. I'm going to have him be mentored probably by Okongwu. Um, we'll have Rebound Chaser. Probably Box Out Beast. And we'll do Workhorse for him. And I'm going to keep um, Terry Forbes out of the G League for now, just in case we need him. Uh, injuries, you know, so free agency. Oh my God, Cam Thomas is here. He averaged 23 last season. What is this man doing in free agency? Um, Same thing, Jaden Hardy. Chris Paul's here. He wants way too much money. I, I would have brought him in too. I 100% would have brought him in. Um, Let's bring in a backup power forward, kind of just in case. I wish I could afford to buy his Harris. He doesn't even want that much. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Anyone here that could be a solid power forward. We're going to bring in Larry Nance. Um, and we're going to move him to his original position, which is power forward. Uh, not a center. Uh, he doesn't move him overall, which is kind of surprising. Um, but we're going to do that. Let's simulate the first game, which is against the OKC Thunder. This powerhouse of a squad. Uh, what's that Rockets team looking like? Amen Thompson, Dinwiddie, Brooks. Oh, Brooks and LeBron playing together. Uh, interesting lineup. I'll probably go through after this episode and fix everyone's rotations. to Make sure everyone's having their best players play. We lose by 21 points. I haven't messed with tendencies yet. I'll do that off camera. But we didn't have a bad offensive game. It was defense that we struggled. What's this Nets team looking like? We should beat this Nets team. We should 100% beat this Nets team. And we do. We blow them out of the water. Lewis Ward has 31. Kobe White has 22 off the bench. Congo has a great game. Uh, Pacers team. Another team we really should beat. Uh, it is on a back-to-back, -back and we ended up losing that one. Halliburton was too much. Lewis Ward's having a good start to the season. A Cavs team I don't expect to beat, but we end up beating them by 15. Um, Garland had 33. Oh, yeah, they lost Mitchell. I forgot about that. Um, and then we get our first matchup against this Rockets team. And we end up winning by five. LeBron only has 17. Lewis Ward's having a great start. First in-season tournament game is a win. We're starting off the in-season tournament in the final game of the second week. So we're four and three to end our first two weeks. 
Uh, we'll, we'll go look at the stats real quick, and then that's probably where we'll end it. Uh, player stats two weeks into the season. Lewis Ward's averaging 19, 5, and 5 on 50, 50, 75. Lonzo is averaging 19, 5, and 7 on two steals. Amazing efficiency. Congo is averaging 16 and 10, about what he usually does. Kobe's averaging 14 on bad efficiency. And Kawhi is off to a bad start this season. But that's going to do it for me. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.